डालस डालस क्या हाल है क्या हाल है क्या हाल है मैं हूँ आपका दोस्त आपका साथी डीजे मोदी अ लीडर्स जर्नी अ जर्नी दैट यू लुक फॉरवर्ड टू अ जर्नी ऑफ आर लीडर्स इन द कम्युनिटी हु हैव मेड अ डिफरेंस ओवर द इयर्स ऑफ हार्ड वर्क एंड डेडिकेशन एंड डालस दिस शो इज फॉर द कम्युनिटी सो यू कैन मीट आर सक्सेसफुल entrepreneurs successful business people successful it professionals and learn from their mistakes from their successes and from their dealing with the world once again we would like to welcome very welcome to mr sanjay kumar sanghania managing director of tanmay group of companies tanmay jewelers land development angel investor and a spiritual leader once again sanjay ji at fanish radio Leader's Journey, produced by Vishali Thakkar, and I'm Moody Akhtar. Sanjay Kumar Sanghania, Managing Director of Tanmay Groups of Companies, with 25 years' experience in international jewelry retail trade and real estate, he has built one of the most beautiful jewelry showrooms in North America, located in Irving, Texas, and has a well-diversified portfolio, including strip mall, medical office building, new construction, apartments. government projects venture capitalist ancient supplements ayurveda products funddivine.com a crowd funding platform to help divine causes in india worldwide and specialized in acquiring agriculture and commercial lands globally he is a philanthropist and actively involved in community services in association with iskon worldwide organization he has been involved in distributing millions of free meals to needy people building schools assisting tribal communities supporting women empowerment supporting construction of world's largest temple and vedic planetarium supporting free handicap operations i camp donations free medical help building hospitals sponsoring hundreds of community events and spiritually weekly spiritual education on saksi tv he has trained mentored and inspired thousands of souls around the world to balance material and spiritual life he regularly practices divine krishna conscious bhakti yoga path as per bhagavad gita's instructions under the guidance of his holiness jaya pataka swami guru maharaj and his divine grace shri lal prabhu pada's teachings and dallas a leader's journey with mr sanjay kumar sanghania brought to you by malco nepali store in uh, luceville pepper smash and allen a to b adyar anand bhavan iv montessori academy and j salazar law firm and dallas before we speak to mr sanjay today i just want to tell you my personal experience with sanjay ji and over the decades what he has been serving and doing for the community i have worked with thousands of folks out there like you making you smile while you are driving your cars and thank you for everything you have given to fanesha and dj moody sanjay ji has a selfless service mind he is always there to help people grow help people realize god help people when they need to hear the things they need to hear to make their lives better business is always there but remember we are people and we have our ups and downs and a true leader is who can make you go high when you need them when you when they make you listen to the things you need to listen and go apply them in your life secondly when they help you in your business to grow your business when they connect you with the people who help your business like fanesia has grown with sanjay ji because he has affiliated fanesia with sodeshi grocery like with the nanban realty by nanban group of companies and many more manewar we can name multiple business that sanjay ji has been involved in the growth of fanesia success over the years so once again thank you so much sanjay ji for taking the time this evening and being on a leader's journey on fanesha radio i will start with asking you you know we we have heard so much about you but how was how did it all started as a child what was your journey how did you get to where you are today thank you modi bhai thank you monoj ji and vaishali ji sam bhai everybody for uh, inviting me today on this show 
uh, with your permission i would like to start with the prayers and then <coughs> i'll share my journey namo om vishnu padaya krishna padaya budle shimate jay padak swami ji namo namo acharya padaya nitai krupa padaya ne gaur katha dham de nagar gram tari ne namo om vishnu padaya krishna padaya budle shimate bhakti vidanta swami niti namo ne namaste saraswati devi gaurvani prachari ne nirvishesh sunyavadi paschata de sitari ne jay shri krishna chaitanya prabhu nityananda shri advaita gadadhara shri vasadi gaur bhakta vinda hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare hare हरे रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे हरे मुखुम करोटि वाचनम पंगुन लंगये ते ग्रीम यत कृपा तम हम वंदे श्री गुरुदिनी तारिणम परमानंद माधवम श्री चैतन्य शिव हरि ओम तत्सत गौरंगा दिस प्रेयर्स इज फॉर मी एंड फॉर ईच एंड एवरीबॉडी हुज लिसनिंग विदाउट प्रेयर्स आई वुड नॉट हैव बीन हियर टुडे ऑन दिस शो सो आई वुड सीक द ब्लेसिंग्स ऑफ लॉर्ड माय स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर शिल प्रभुपाद एंड देन स्टार्ट दिस सो So Sanjay ji you said a very strong point here you know without prayers you wouldn't be here that is so strong if we believe in spirituality regardless of what we believe in prayers plays a very important vital role in our lives and that's your journey started undoubtedly undoubtedly uh, whether does not matter what caste or religion you belong belongs to which part of the world you belongs to a uh, prayer just works it's like fire you know whether you believe in fire or you don't believe in fire when you come close to fire you're going to burn your hand fire is going to give light just like that faith works god is there and he really is there for everybody who needs him he is also there for those who does not need him but those who connect with him they can feel the magic instantly faith works yeah so uh, my journey started like what with most of the people in america uh, pretty much our journey is same uh, some people are very lucky that they born in a very aristocrat family and they have come here for more success but most of us started with a humble beginning and that's what my story was uh, i started my life uh, just for some people who don't know i'm a marwadi and a marwadi's a marriage of a daughter a girl in marwadi family means you go bankrupt technically yeah. <laughs> you know so i have uh, lord krishna has blessed me with three sisters and my dad even though he belongs to a royal family but he left everything uh, from jaipur and he moved to hyderabad with nothing but just pant and shirt you know and then he started his journey from there and he used to keep telling me the stories you know he had a haveli and how royal family we were belongs to but we were living living a you know simple life a uh, very humble life and he was a cpa and i was thinking that uh, how are we going to do three marriages three daughters you know my dad has three daughters and three sisters and i'm the eldest in the family and i have one younger brother so i took the responsibility being the elder uh, son and i was worried about that like uh, how and i remember my dad was serving one friend of him for peanuts uh be, uh, like they were treating him like a big brother so he dedicated his life for them and in the hopes that they are going to take care of my three sisters and the family because they were like family <coughs> he has done a lot for them but in the end they gave hand and that you know shook me completely and i remember my dad had tears in his eyes you know when my eldest daughter was getting married and he was struggling for some funds I could not handle that and that's where my journey started actually. And how old were you at that time? R- approximately. Um, um in your I 20s w- maybe 18 oh, wow. somewhere there you in know. your teens. Uh, actually I'm sorry uh not 18 I was around 20 something. Okay. Yeah. In your early 20s. Early 20s. So uh then I realized that hey we are f- f- seven members in the family. If I sacrifice myself my life six people will be you know better six people will have a better life and then uh, i in fact thought uh, when i came to america i struggled hard to come to america uh, my dad used to cry the way used, i used to work hard to come to america because i had a dream that if i come to america i can take care of my family and then so quickly what how did that magic happen you coming to america if you uh, can summarize it in maybe a minute so in short uh, i had no visa and i l- took blessings of all the elders uh, elder people in india in uh, hyderabad 
and I told them that I'm going to America and they asked me, do you have the visa? I said, no, I don't have a visa. <laughs> wow. I'm going to Chennai. I'm going to get the visa. I have a flight same day night and that is 96 December, you know, uh, in 96. So at December 96. De December I remember 96. that very well. So everybody was like shocked. You don't have visa and you're take, taking our blessings and you want to go to America. So in short, uh, the toughest person in the consulate who did not give visa, she was famous for not giving visa. Uh, I was the first person in the consulate and people were going one by one. They were leaving like slowly. I, I saw the room getting empty, empty, empty. And they called me first time. Then they say, okay, you sit down. We'll call you again. And then like I was almost the last guy. And I got went to the counter and says, you are so young, you are 22 and you have quality control job and you are going to America and you have a so, uh, you know, good salary. We are not able to believe that. I had no choice. Like I thought, this is my last chance. You know what, what I should do? And then I told her, ma'am, everybody has blessed me. I have a flight in the evening. I need your blessings to go to America. Wow. <laughs> That's all I told her. She said, okay, please sit down. Wow. She gave me the stamp. Unbelievable. So, <laughs> wow. so the reason I asked, we have so many immigrants <laughs> that, yeah. that come here and they have stories yeah. to come to America is not an easy. So I wanted to touch on that. Yeah. So I think uh, everywhere, I, from my childhood, I believe in one thing. Take elders blessings. You have no idea what's the power of blessings. So one, faith works. Two, take blessings from your elders. Elders, especially parents, your uncles, anybody elder, you know. Your elders, their blessings works magically. So I've experienced that in my life. Even the lady, she was an American lady. I asked for her blessings. See, when you ask for somebody's blessings, all they can do is bless you. Wow. If you think about it, mm -hmm. you're bowing down and taking for blessings. What they'll do? I, I don't want to bless you, they'll say. Yeah. What a magical right? thing to ask. So this is how uh, it started. And I worked hard. Uh, my salary when I came here was... Hundred and ten dollars. Of course, they were taking care of my other things, and from there I started. In fact, uh, I am telling on the screen that there was one time I thought if I die, my insurance money, my family will be taken care. I had that kind of thought at one time, but then I thought, no, 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 that's not good. Money will come, but the pain they're going to go through, loss of me, will be more, you know, uh, painful than you know what they can recover with the money. And then I said, let me work hard. And, and I'll touch on when you say when I die, not many people talk about that or think that so quickly. Yeah. So what made you think, what made you think in that direction? See, something about my life uh, from childhood, uh, I, was, I was very inquisitive. I used to pray God all the time. I used to pray almost all gods. I, I like everybody. Uh, Saturday, I used to go to Hanuman Temple. Friday, I used to go to Santoshima Temple. One day, Sai Baba. Then uh, I, I was, uh, you know, inclined to know more about uh, Masjid, mosque, and I had Christian friends. So I was, I was inquisitive to know God. I, I didn't care what background. I used to entertain. My best friends were Muslims. My best friends were, uh, you know, Christians. I had a lot of uh, Indian friends. So I had all variety of friendship. So I n never discriminated as far as God is concerned and learning about God is concerned. I always took opportunity to learn from every culture. That inquisitiveness was always there and I always believed I should not do just the routine and die one day. I hate that. Uh, sorry to say that word on yeah. my mic. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I can't believe that you get up, you do brush, you do your routine, you go to job, you make money. And one day, all of a sudden, you boom, die. You know, you left the planet. What good is that kind of life? That's so like what is your message to people who are living a routine life and they don't have a choice? In, so a, in a sense, where they have to do the duty to feed the family and get the visas and do the process. See, uh, what uh, I think uh, I believe in reincarnation. <coughs> and I also believe that maybe my hankering is coming from many lives. And I'm sure many of us are also going through this you know journey of hankering for the eternal happiness eternal joy wow so uh, because of my inquisitive nature and connecting with god constantly is trying to connect with god what i've realized is this life what we have human beings like body physical body is temporary maybe 100 years 120 years death is guaranteed 100 percent 100 percent death yeah. is guaranteed yeah. 
this one prediction i can do for the whole world that 100% everybody's going to die yeah <laughs> so when i realized that then i thought hey this is not life you know we have to struggle we have to if you really i was hearing on lecture today when your child you want to finish your you know education 10th grade and once you complete 10th grade you will be so excited oh 10th grade is completed now you have to go for inter then college then job then marriage then kids you are always hustling if you really look at it we are going after we are looking at happiness in future even now most of the people are saving a lot of money for future but they don't know whether they'll see that life also tomorrow or tonight yeah. and maybe the government takes it i heard uh, indian government has thousands of crores of money sitting in their bank because of their rupees, unclaimed rupee unclaimed um, do- dollar uh, rupees you know so enjoyment does not really means that you spend money and enjoy that's not what i I'm, i'm trying to say you know what i'm trying to say is you will die you will not enjoy your money no matter what amount of money you have you cannot enjoy your life because if that is the case then all rich people should be very happy and satisfied mm-hmm. why they are killing themselves <coughs> yeah or getting divorced right uh, or having family yeah. issues some people think that i'll become a sportsman i'll win a gold medal in olympics then all my life will be perfect but there are so many gold medalists they are selling this gold medals to survive so actual happiness is not from money from materialistic things that's not who we are we are soul we are not this body so unless and until you understand that you are not this body you are a spirit soul you will never ever be happy no matter how much you try and the minute you turn to the soul then you will understand the purpose of the soul is to serve the supreme soul which is god you can call him lord krishna you can call allah you can call it christ uh, i always which ever god you believe in yeah i see i give an example uh, let's say modify you call uh water uh pani p- pani what do you call pa- water in any other language uh, you know tanni 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 is in tamil. tamil let's say i call water uh in english water right in america we call water they all same so now all of us have this bottle you have a water pani. bottle i have pani you have a water tanni. bottle so now i'm going to say this is water yeah beautiful you tell what what are you going to say i'm going to say yeah pani water no. tanni all same you tell tanni Tani. I said water. Pani. No, it's water. Pani. No, it's water. Water, pani. water, water, water. Pani, pani, pani. I have been hearing this is water from all my life. Most of the people in America call this water. Uh, I don't care. What a what a beautiful <laughs> definition I have to say. Lovely. So now you just change this to you call it Allah, you call it Christ, I said Krishna. Uh there is no two god. I think all educated people, anybody with common sense can understand there is no two god on the planet no way because god means nobody is equal to or greater than him so if god is nobody is equal to or greater than him how can there be two so if it is one that means the god who you are addressing the god who you are addressing and god who i am addressing they are same wow and if i if i call for your god do you think he will say no sorry go to krishna what a what a so understand this beautiful gift what we have we have a beautiful mind beautiful intelligence unfortunately animal don't have this animal cannot ask this question why we have to die why we have to suffer but human beings can ask this question why we have to suffer why death why birth why old age why disease so many people died our prayers for everybody who left the planet but we have to understand this thing that if we align with the god our scriptures whether is bible quran bhagavad gita if you truly a god lover and reads read those books with from heart seeking god i guarantee you you will connect with god wow that is such a lesson yeah. if people heard it there's yeah. a lot of learning there sanjay ji we have about 5 minutes i do i want you to cover as much as you can about your journey once again sanjay kumar sanghania from tanmay group of companies right here at the studios of financial radio talking about his journey sanjay ji over to you uh actually recently i talked to my spiritual father uh, his holiness jay patak swami uh, guru maharaj and i'm 48 year old my wife and me have been working since childhood uh, very young age 
So we decided that at f- age 50, I'm going to retire. Uh, me and my wife, that's what we were thinking, you know, that let's just retire. We content. F- up to 50% of whatever I make, I contribute. Uh, we give crores and crores uh, in charity for good cause. And actually, by giving, I got a lot more. I can take that with me when I die. So I feel very good. So I'm not uh, showing off by saying that I'm giving. Actually, it's my benefit. This and is my real bank balance. And, and again, by you saying you're helping me and listeners of Foundation Radio, it's good to give because you feel good when you leave or you're leaving a legacy. Yeah. So my fa- I asked him uh, that uh, I'm making a lot of money and we're at a stage that we can grow more, we can make a lot more money uh, by uh, God's grace. But I'm not enjoying this, you know, making money business. Uh, it's stressful. It's not, you know, fun. So uh, how do I handle my life? You know, I asked him, what do I do? Should I continue or should I retire? He gave me an example of Arjuna. He said, Arjuna was a Kshatriya and Krishna never told him to quit. He told him, as a Kshatriya, it's your job to fight, but fight for me. And in this fight, if you die, you will go to heavenly kingdom and you'll enjoy there. But if you win this war, you'll still enjoy. But you have to fight for me so that you can come back to me, come to the kingdom of God. And he told me, you are a businessman. Your job is to do business. You do your business for Krishna. You align your life. You don't have to retire. You can dedicate your entire life for serving God and his children, humanity. That gave me so much confidence and you know boost uh, that I decided no more retirement. Now I'm going to die while doing business. Wow, unbelievable. And, and then I decided uh, that uh, if I really have to put all my efforts, all my talents, all my experience, leverage all my contacts, and I want to re- really do something for the humanity, for the pleasure of God, then I have pledged myself that I want to be top 10 in 10 years. That means uh, I'm declaring on the show that my desire is to become top 10 companies in 10 years in the world. And I'm going to dedicate this in service of humanity for the pleasure of Lord Krishna. Wow. <laughs> what a takeaway. <laughs> what a takeaway. And what a uh, thing to say on the radio, Mr. Sanjay. See, if you don't have this goal, if you don't have the aspiration, I know a lot of people will be making fun of me. Hey, what happened to top 10? You know, uh, I really want them to make fun of me. It's okay. Like this is how I came to America. Uh, I remember my boss uh, when I was working for Philips. I told him in a red bus in India that uh, one day I'm going to go to America. Uh, he said, don't say it. When you go, you come back and then tell us. Don't tell now. Uh, but I, I said, no, I won't tell because you will remind me. You will remind me of my dream. And one day, like after I came to America, I went back to meet him. And we both were sitting in, in a room. And I told him, sir, do you remember that bus conversation? He said, I remember everything, Sanjay. Wow. <laughs> so, Sanjay, we have a minute to close the show. And I loved speaking to you this evening. What would you like to close with? I'm sure everybody listening enjoyed your conversation and having your journey with Fanesha today. See, my humble request at the f- lotus feet of everybody who's listening, my bottom of my heart, I'm requesting you, this is a precious life. Do not waste this precious life. 